figured out? What? Reboot and all that. Yeah, we're back at home. Back at the queue, baby. And um, <laughs> excited to be home. I'm um, pretty sure our, our fans, they're going to be excited. So I'm just excited to be back home and um, hit the reset button. Did everyone outside of Derek and Trump available for the spot? Yes. Are those two guys available? No. Yeah, I'm, man, I'm so mean. Yeah, no, those two guys are out. Okay. Now, you, I know you don't make excuses, but how, how grueling has this been? I mean, for a month, you played uh, two home games. <laughs> I mean, you know, the most important thing, you just got to just, you know, um, try to get through it the best way you can. And, um, you know, we had two tough games with the you know, Toronto and Minnesota blowouts. But, you know, we, you know, the Indiana game last night or two nights ago, I thought it was a step in a positive direction. I thought defensively we were good. I thought we played pace with pace in the, in the first half. It might have ran out a little gas, but you know it's part of the schedule. Everyone goes through it. But um, you know now we're getting back home, and now we got to be better. I know Pate has only four games into his comeback, but what can he add to the matchup uh, against the Warriors if he does? Um, just be able to attack, um, score in the basketball. Uh, we know they're going to switch a lot of things, so. Um, some of them get into the paint and um, create something for itself or somebody else. So um, we're going to need that. And then we just got to you know, get back to make some shots. You know, we haven't made shots um, their whole road trip. So um, get back to make some shots, um, continue to play with pace, and uh, we'll be fine. You said last time when you played them, we kind of don't know what we have yet until we have Isaiah and they have Steph. Now, the, now you both do. I mean, is it, do you have well, a sense of how this game is different? Than um, not Christmas? yet, not until we play it. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, you know, IT is still you know, trying to find his rhythm. Um, you know, he's getting back, trying to get his legs on him. So, um, Steph's been in and out with his ankle injury. So, but I mean, it's going to be a good game, a um, um, fun game. So, we're up for the challenge and we're excited. Does it almost help to have them here after kind of the stretch you've been through? Like, okay, it's the Warriors again. Is it kind of what? Does it help to sort of have a game like the opponent like this come in um, and get up for? I think so. I mean, we got to get up. If not, it would be embarrassing. So, I mean, the guys are ready to play. And, um, you know, we're playing defending champs. Um, they're a tough team, they're a good team, and um, you know we're ready to play and that'd be up for the challenge. You mentioned missing shots on the road trip, but does your offensive struggles recently go beyond that? Because you had gone 26 straight games scoring at least 100, and then you've been held under that in six of the last nine. So is there something more than that? No, I mean, it's part of making shots. I mean, if you don't make, you can't score. So um, I think we shot seven for 34, I think, in Indiana, and made six, I think, on the road trip. We've been making at least 10 every game. So. Um, we just struggle with our shooting, so we just got to get back to, you know, making shots and then taking our shots and taking good shots. Have you noticed getting worse shots, or were you happy with some of this? I was happy with some of the shots, just not making it right now, but we'll turn that around. Is that, so are you not uh, worried it's because you know those shots are eventually going to drop? Is that fair to say? Or? Yeah, they have to. can't get any worse. <laughs> um, I know our shooters can shoot the basketball, and. Um, you know, and just coming home, I think just, you know, being back at the queue, I think it'd be good for us, you know, where we're comfortable and um, we have to be able to make shots and start from here tomorrow. So we'll see. How does Isaiah being the Isaiah that you anticipate him being affect Kevin? I don't understand. Well, Kevin's been the second option for a majority of this season because you no longer have Kyrie, so he moved up one. But no options, just, just got to play the game the right way. Um, whoever has it going or whoever is open should get the basketball, so it's not really an option thing. And, you know, Kevin's been great all year, and um, we've got to continue to get him touches and continue to feature him um, no matter who's on the floor. With IT, is there any element of surprise because he might be different with you than he was with the Celtics, you know, like – difference in his game, or you think he just kind of goes by his old demo? No, he'll, he'll be the same player. Once he gets his legs under him, gets comfortable, um, conditioning, um, I think he'll be fine. When you spoke to Isaiah this, this summer after acquiring him, or I don't know if you guys ever did like sit down film sessions, did you ever use the Warriors as an example of what he could fit in with this team? No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>